guys, welcome back to Molly Crafts. Today I'm going to be doing a part two to a pan sticker video with different tricks that I learned. So yeah, let's go. So the first part is the same from the last video. I just drew a circle and then I held down to make it a perfect circle and then I filled it in. The first part is the same, I used Alpha Lock and the same brush, but this time I'm going to overlap the colors because it makes a really cool effect. You'll see me doing that in just a second. If you look right here, this is what the rest of it's going to look like. See, I'm doing it right now. So now I'm going to make a second layer and make a loop around it with green. And if you're a little confused on some of these things, go to my last video, it will explain it more in depth. Instead of erasing the little parts that I learned on the planet, we're going to cut out parts of the planet and then put it on top of the ring where it's touching. And we are going to be using the clipping brush, or clipping tool. This part will take a little bit longer because you have to do a lot of different things, but it does make a cleaner look. Now we're going to be making the little black circle that's going to be used as the shadow of the ring. We're going to fill in the circle and then use Gaussian Blur to make it look more like a shadow. This step is going to be the different part. We are going to duplicate this layer and then put it on top of the cutout of the planet and the planet and then use clipping mask and it will just make a lot cleaner look. This is where I had kind of a realization that I need to turn off clipping mask on the layer because if you click above it, then it will turn into a clipping mask. Now the last part to make it a sticker is just to outline it. I didn't show this part, but remember to fill it in, and then put it under everything, and then there you go. There's your sticker. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my Insta account at InstaMollyCrafts, and I hope you guys enjoy. Goodbye!